Today's video is sponsored by Raycon Earbuds. Today we've got a few tests with ballistic shell that we don't think anyone has tried before. <laughs> ballistic shell is pretty entertaining, just as a block. <laughs> It's just really fun to play it's with, It's like guys. jello, but it doesn't fall apart as easily. It's actually what I imagine Jigglypuff would feel like. <laughs> like, yeah. So, a lot of people have done cool tests with ballistics gel. For anyone unfamiliar with it, it is a gelatin that is designed to mimic the movement and fluidity and resistance of human tissue. So approximately human muscle and fat mm -hmm. mixed together, maybe. Not with bones. Not with bones, <laughs> although sometimes people do make cool ballistic shell yes. like mannequins that have bones and organs. It is cool, and we did a test with it before when we were seeing if jeans could stop an axe. How many layers of jeans did you end up needing? Oh man, I think I got oh, up to like 30? 40 okay. and it was still like, when it was against a piece of wood, I think I was still able to chop through all of them. But uh, we, uh, we said if you wanted to see some other tests, let us know, and some people had some ideas, so we're going to try some stuff out. This is a new knife from Walmart. It's not super high quality, but it is new, so it's decently sharp. And it does slice through. So here is, uh, here's some of the tests I'm thinking yeah. we're gonna do. Oh, that can't be good. No, it's very, no, it's bitter. Gross. Listen, you can eat gelatin. I'm not going to eat this. I had to know what it tastes like. I don't know and what it's... else is in there. Ah, yeah, no, it's bitter and chemically. Don't do that. So, my thought, we're years late for the trend, but that mm -hmm. thousand degree knife thing where they heat yes. a knife up red hot. I want to see what that does, but I don't just want to heat it and press it in. I want to see each of us take a swing at the block with the knife. Okay. See how far into it we get. Then each of us heat the knife up red hot and see if our swing gets any farther in. We'll still have plenty for our next test, which is to see what happens if we freeze it. We want to put this stuff in liquid nitrogen because we did experiments about freezing actual meat. Like we mm -hmm. got pork and beef and chicken and we froze those. I want to see if this stuff behaves similarly, if it takes as long to freeze, if it cracks when it freeze, and if it will shatter after it's all the way frozen. I think it will. If you've ever frozen gelatin cubes before, or like gelatin. I think jello? it's going to crack, mm -hmm. and then I think it will shatter once it's liquid nitrogen frozen. I currently have some aluminum melting up in our metal foundry, and we want to see what happens if we just put some gelatin in the foundry. Guys, experimenting with ballistics gel is a lot of fun, and while we were prepping it all for this video, I was using my Raycon earbuds. See, Raycon is disrupting the electronics industry by designing premium wireless audio for half the price without compromise to quality. Raycon offers their wireless earbuds in a range of awesome colors and patterns with various fit options, and the best part is there aren't any dangling wires. Something super cool is the company was co-founded by Ray J, and big name celebrities are getting in on the Raycon craze, like Snoop Dogg and Rich the Kid. I honestly use my Raycon earbuds on a nearly daily basis. They're super comfortable, have noise isolating features, hours of playtime, easy and fast Bluetooth pairing, and a pretty solid bass. I tinker around in the studio a lot, and while I do that, I'm using my Raycons to listen to music or audiobooks. Or if I'm eating lunch, I'll watch a show with my phone using my Raycon earbuds. They're super convenient, and they sound great. My Raycons are my go-to audio of choice. And Raycon wants to make sure its customers are happy, so they have an extended 45-day free return policy. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash TKOR to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Well, first let's see how easy it is to chop through this block of human-like flesh with this knife. And I am not left-handed, so I am at that tiny bit of a disadvantage, but oh wow, if I'm pulling out it at all, that sliced through very easily and that's a little terrifying. And I'm gonna try and like have the same action and I'm power gonna move. With, with the heated up blade later. All right, there we go. Kind of see on the side how far the knife got in. It wasn't the best swing ever. My uh, chopping people technique with a kitchen knife is... Chopping people. Clearly not that great. Ah, I don't like this Just at don't all. hit my same spot, that's yeah, all. Yeah, and I also don't want to hit the metal. We can move it closer. Okay, pretty not much the same. Far. Maybe like a quarter of an inch less deep, yeah. but really, really similar. So you're telling me that if I were to just like, hi ya, that's how far I'd get? I bet you'd get down to your bone. Ah. Don't, yeah, don't. No. Yeah. All right, so now we got to get this knife red hot, and for that, we're going to use our oxyacetylene torch. <laughs> Woo! How'd that go? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That was awesome! I almost hit the table. It's really? Just, yeah. Nice. That's oh, awesome. Oh, do you want to try? I sure do. Three, two, one. 
Wow, yeah, that uh, gets down in there real quick. The most common time you're actually going to smell something that smells just like this is when you're at the dental office. This smells exactly like what it smells like when your dentist is drilling in your teeth because it is the smell of burning bone. We've got our nice cup of liquid nitrogen and we've got a few different slices of ballistic shell. Let's find out how they work. Starting with the thinnest one. Yep, just want to see. I think that's perfect. It'll, it'll go the fastest and we'll get a good... Oh, we dropped it all the way in. Sure did. Didn't think that one through. So it turned white. Did. It's not all the way solidified. Yeah, I think the inside is still gelatinous, but the outside... Yep, inside's still jelly. It looks like a candy. Oh, now I want to eat it. Look at that. Yeah, it's still kind of <laughs> goopy. That is actually really funny looking. Like such an opaque outside and then just completely nice, clear inside stuff. Just put it in for like a couple of seconds and the very corners start to turn white right away. Nice. That's pretty. It's much prettier than I was expecting. It is a cool look. Squishy, but like it feels like it dried out. Well, I'm gonna try. Oh, I see, I see. Carving out a dish. I'm gonna pour some in. If there was smell of vision you know there'd be whole channels dedicated to nothing but like, I invented the new worst ever smell. Oh yeah. And so many people would be going to it like, oh man, that's amazing how bad it is. So this is kind of fun. It'll just yeah. like, yeah, it just freezes the little spot that it's on. It's not really conducting the cold. Like it's just kind of regular everywhere else. It's like, okay. Yeah, I don't think this stuff is a good heat conductor because even the stuff that came out of there, mm -hmm. it's like, it's cold, but I can there's, handle it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. If you hold it this long after it's been in liquid nitrogen, it's going to start burning your skin. This is a tremendous insulator or something because, like, nothing. Yeah. Wow. We boiled away all our liquid nitrogen. Yeah, Crunchy. now we've got this little, like, inverted cone. Can you break that piece out? It's, like, quickly getting soft again. What the weirdness? What's next? So, I have some aluminum melting in the foundry. Okay. But. I am now concerned about pouring pop. aluminum, yeah, that it might explode. So I think I do want to try it, but only with like a tiny little drip. Okay. So yeah. Still not safe. Not very. Don't do this at home. So I'm thinking I'll take this block. Okay. And I'll uh, carve out a little bit of a, a hole in it. Uh -huh. And I'll try and pour like a teaspoon kind of side, just like a drop of molten aluminum down into it. We've got our aluminum. Decent quantity of molten aluminum here. I'll be over here. All right, here goes. I'm gonna try and pour just a smidgen. That was more than a smidgen. <laughs> oh, that's really cool though. It's tunneling down. It's tunneling down. Okay, so what we've learned is that gelatin, when melted, does not turn into steam and expand the same way that water does. Yeah, it's just kind of chilling there. That's really cool. It needs more. Oh, okay. It's cooling down too much, you know? Yeah, at this point it looks like we're gonna get a very nice round bottom on it and the top's gonna be all like bubbly. It's possible, aluminum does have a fairly high specific heat, meaning it holds heat in it mm -hmm. that it has to get rid of for it to cool down. It's slowing, but it is still moving. Oh, it's just draining right out now. Yep. All of it, it melted the hole all the way through. And we can just now see the shape that it melted down through it, which is also neat. Well. Cool, looks like a comet. I love that. I love that, I love that, I love that. Being outside, we don't smell the terrible smell quite as much. Uh, it's still there. I said not oh, quite Oh no, as much. you should go downstairs, Grace, trust me. To. It's so bad. I don't want to. It's so bad. I believe you. You should do it. We've taken the burners out of our foundry and we're just pointing them at our block. <laughs> we're gonna see what happens to it. I think it's gonna melt really fast. Hopefully we turn it off in time to keep it from overflowing and spilling even more molten gelatin. No, just let it burn. Callie has some different ideas. Oh good! Whoa, careful. It's really hard to see the flame out in the daylight because it's a light blue, but you can see the result. It's melting. You know, I actually thought it was going to go faster. Me too, but you gotta remember how bad it is at conducting heat. That's so true. So it's really only getting the surface at any given point. It's also like burning the gel that's on the ground near yeah. it. Yeah. Our burners don't work as well when they aren't connected to the foundry. <laughs> the air circulation changes and they are pretty sensitive in how they're calibrated. We don't but, wanna put it in the foundry either because then it's just going to overflow in our foundry and, and we'll then never like, be able to use it. Anytime we use it, yeah, it's just gonna smell. smell awful. But 
We did melt a considerable portion of it. Uh-huh. Uh, got the wall very, very thin. But yeah, new things with ballistic gel. I haven't ever seen anyone do any of these before, so it was fun to try. Yeah, just kind of wanted to see what the consistency and quality really was when we put our minds to destroying it. It melts. It does. It melts pretty easily. Thanks again to Raycon Earbuds for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash TKOR to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Guys, this was a ton of fun. If you like this kind of content, make sure to check out our other videos and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.